Good morning, guys. How are we feeling today? We got home at like 1.30 a.m. from that Halloween party, and I'm feeling pretty good despite that. And I definitely had a good amount to drink. Another day, another breakfast burrito. I just love a breakfast burrito because it actually keeps me full like the whole day. I don't even know how it's possible. Like no other food does that for me, but like yesterday I had a breakfast burrito and I wasn't hungry till like six. This is it. This one is so it's humongous. I'm not gonna be hungry till tomorrow, though. No, it's oh, actually a brick. My God! It said that they were voted one of the best in LA, so we'll see. Pretty good so far, but I need, I need to get past all the tortillas. We are up and at it for the day. I had a slow, chill, lazy morning. It was awesome. This is a hot girl car. You look good in it. It's a good look for you. I really like it. And they are not sponsoring this vlog. I feel like I just have to say that. It's a, just the Instagram post, but obviously, naturally, you're going to see it because I'm using it. We're going to go look at a cool house. It fits you so well. Really? Like, <laughs> yes, this like looks like something you drive. Yeah, so we're going to go look at this house that's for sale that actually looks so cool. It actually looks like the best option of any where I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited to see it. And it's like top of my budget, but I could make it work. This is super cool. This kitchen is pretty old, but not bad. It's like definitely old cabinetry, but not terrible. It's like nice that it at least has that. Walk past their bathroom. Interesting, pretty little. The texture on the wall is cool though. It's that Spanish style. This is the move. Check this out. Extend the bathroom. Knock out the closet. This would be a guest room. It doesn't need that big of a closet. That bathroom's so little. Like why? Just an idea. Oh, and then it goes to a hallway. Painted. Got, this got the landlord special. Yeah, yeah. Painted over a million yeah, no times. Whoa, I like the window looking out at the pool. This is sick. Lines. I love that. I know that they're not like any like standard lengths. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's cool that they did that though. I love this yard. This is really cool actually. Awesome that they have that because if you heat your pool, this cover will keep it warm overnight. Like a lot warmer, like 10 degrees extra warmer. So that's really cool. And it looks like it might be automatic. Like these are expensive. Those are like 10 grand. I would rent out that as a pool house. I would turn that into a pool house. Oh, that's the move. It's, it's the make it an ADU. This hot tub area, outdoor kitchen, it's grill. So much cooler. This yard has so much potential. This brick, I love. It's actually really pretty. Open up your imagination. The house could be really cool once it's renovated. It feels like everything I've ever rented in college. Okay, this could be an ADU. It could be converted. It would be so cool and it'd have such a nice view of the pool. Love all the like hedges already over there. Oh, oh, grill. Oh, I didn't even see this like city. This is cool. So we just toured that house. I thought it was really cool, a lot of things about it. The layout was weird and the lighting wasn't that good, which I didn't expect, but it had so much charm and character in the backyard was so cool, but it was just like dark in the living room. Yeah, hon yeah. honestly, like I was surprised that Shelby liked it because I feel like <laughs> if you were to show me like 10 homes that would have been the last one i would have been like oh yeah you'd like this house that's so funny <laughs> well because i know how i would renovate it differently and like with furniture like it's hard to see the potential when it's empty i would refinish the floors and switch up the kitchen and stuff but also i think another thing is like the texture on the walls mm -hmm. it felt old and that's something it's super expensive to change it was kind of cool though it was like spanish style like right. it was cool the it's biggest thing house. the biggest thing for me is the layout of it didn't really make sense sense to me. It yeah. felt like I was in a like completely altered version of how a house layout normally works. Mm -hmm. Like we were struggling to figure out which room was a master bedroom. I still don't think no, we decided which I, one was. I decided <laughs> which one. But I still think it has so much potential. I'm just going to sleep on it. It also is hitting me that it is kind of far out here. But honestly, I'm like, <laughs> maybe I don't need a whole house like it is more work it's more maintenance more you like when you have a pool yes that's cool you have to pay for a pool cleaner you have to pay for landscaping yeah and that's like 500 dollars a month right there probably boom the backyard's one of the coolest 
things about the house. Yeah, I loved the, the backyard. backyard. Had is the one thing I could actually like see potential in. I think it would be worth it in the sense that like I would have an exit strategy: buy the house, fix up things about it, turn that garage into an ADU, live in it for two years, and then sell it for more because hopefully it would appreciate. But even if it didn't, I would have built an ADU. Since I live in it, you don't pay capital gains taxes on the first two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Time so, will tell. I want to come back to this vlog. So that would be like a good a good play but the thing is there's a chance that the housing market goes down more and it doesn't appreciate in two years and then it's like well i could hold on to it i could rent it out but i don't want to do that i don't want to be one of those people with like a million rental properties so here's what i want to i have a i have a prediction yeah so i want to be able to come back to this later i think that the rates are going to go up really high and then they're going to keep going up i think home prices are going to go down more i'm like maybe i should just wait a few more months i think it's, it, it's going to be prime to be able to buy a house with cash like people already think it is but if you look at the grand scheme of a like the graph of the history of mortgage rates right now is actually considered normal. The past 10 years were a beautiful time to buy a house. That's your prediction? I think, I think it, it's going to go up to like 15. I think it might go up like a percent more, but then I think it's going to start to slowly come down, never hitting two or three percent again, but maybe like five. That's going to take, I think, three or four years to like really fully hit. Who knows? But once the rates go back down, the prices are going to go way up. Something's got to happen. It's got to become easier to build. No, People gotta does. be de-incentivized to buy more houses. They do, but that would be the cool thing tax. if I if I turn that garage to an ADU. That's mm. like that's a whole new housing unit for someone to live in. And like I would live in the garage. As is? I've always wanted to live in a garage. I don't know why. Garages are sweet. I've got a buddy here in Venice that lives in a garage. I don't even know. On, on, on that, on that, no, let's get to filming. So I've got a buddy in Venice that has a, he lives in a garage and it's sweet. You can like make it the coolest and not necessarily live in it, like work out of it. Mm -hmm. Like you could have the coolest and Industrial monitor set up and because the weather is good here and it doesn't it's like not too crazy you can leave the, the garage door open as you work it's actually really cool it's I worked so out of one not of those for a little my while vibe. No, anyway cool. so we gotta shoot the BMW stuff and we're gonna take this car on a road trip to Big Bear so let's do it but we want to get a shot of like leaving LA first <laughs> Sam's driving it now he wanted to try it out a bit and I was down to take a break from driving all right, we made it to Big Bear. We are trying to check into our Airbnb, but it's kind of weird here. I guess you have to check in at a real estate office for the company that managed it. So we're at the office. No one's there. It says it's open. The door's locked. No one's there. No one's answering the phone. It's a really cool looking Airbnb, but I'm like, hello? My Airbnb would never. I can't imagine if we didn't reply within like five minutes and we're like yeah. not incredible. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like this is why people are annoyed of Airbnbs and their checkout instructions. Look at this, you guys. This is why people hate Airbnb. It's like sassy the way they say it. Clean as you go. Um, let's remember that the Airbnb guests are paying for a cleaner <laughs> they and also take care they're of, paying to stay in the house. Take care of everything. Do all the work. Pay me a cleaning fee and like, pay me oh, and, and can you and can you like <laughs> pay my mortgage. can you finish painting this room? No, but it's like even mine. I'm like I want to tell my property manager like we need to tell people like don't worry as much about the cleaning because that's what Wander does. Like Wander's like we'll take care of it as they should. Because... Well, that's what the cleaning fee is for. Yeah! The, big, the big annoyance is like, I feel like... We'll get a fine if we don't follow this. Yeah, see, that's what they do is they, they do all this stuff. So like, we ended up, we were at a beach house and we were cleaning the sand off because we're like, what level clean does it need to be so that we don't get fined? Oh my God. Well, I... you don't know. Uh, yeah. Often ridiculous. I was telling Shelby, I have left hotels in a rough spot before <laughs> and, you ne and you never hear from them again. The cleaning fee was $200. That's a good fee for it is a pretty big... Yeah, you probably a group $200, they'll clean up. Thank you for contacting Airbnb. Have a great day. Bye. You too, bye. We gotta hold up Airbnb. They're gonna try and contact the host. Honestly, though, it's not that big of a deal because Airbnb will just refund us, I'm sure, and then I can and just book another ridiculous. one. It's definitely inconvenient because I just yeah. want to be in the hot tub already, but, like, it's not like we're in a hurry or have to like wake up early like it's it fine. definitely is like the best case scenario it's not like we're in a there's a ton of good airbnbs available yeah, okay. there's so i found the host on instagram because she was like hyping her airbnb she like put her name her full name in the airbnb description and i'm about to like message her on instagram be like hey girl we can't get in let's go in the grocery store and get some za we'll make the best of it it's gonna really suck though because they said that the, they said that the store closes at eight and it's 7 30 right now that's why i called airbnb 
Airbnb and was like, uh. Yeah, it's a little frustrating. Yeah. Because we are here on time, right? When we eventually get to the hot tub, we're making Aperol spritzes. So I'm getting an orange because it's way better when you actually get an orange and club soda. We're doing it right. And I'm messaging other Airbnbs right now to see if they would take a guess. We'll see. <laughs> Worst case scenario, nice we're, we're like an hour and a half from, let's see how far we are from Palm Springs. It's not that far. I don't want to do that though. I'm going to be so annoyed if we had to. Update, we're at the Airbnb. The host finally responded. Sam has been messaging her. She like had some excuse of saying that they use a new calendar. I don't know. It's some weird like software glitch was the excuse. She said that she was like, oh, I hope it's not double booked. Let me know when you guys get there if other people are there. I'm like, that's so sketchy. <laughs> One code doesn't work either. This has also happened to me on Airbnb. I'm like, am I putting it in wrong? But it's not working for you either. At least though, like we have confirmed there are other places that will let us stay there. Yeah, the beauty of competition Spooky. in the market. Place. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone here? Because we heard there might be. This place is really cool. Ooh. I know it's cool. Ooh. It's cool in here. We made it. You guys, they have something really cool. I know. Sam is going to be so hyped. They have freaking Nintendo 64. We have to play. That actually sounds so fun. That's such a good idea for a cabin Airbnb. Like, I love that. And I didn't even show you guys the deck. We're going to go in the hot tub immediately. Let's make some pizza. You got you got to come here and check this out. Oh, cool! Isn't that fun? Yeah, really fun. I thought you were gonna be more like, oh my god, that's no. so cool! Oh my god, that's so yeah. cool! No, yeah, no, it's exciting. <laughs> they said, is it clean? This is crazy. Well, this is how it works with my Airbnb. Is like I'm a co-host, so I see all the messages and I always check them. And then Nikki, my property manager, she's so on it. But if she wasn't on it, I would see it. It's like pilot so it's and like, co-pilot. But yeah. this girl has so many listings that it's. Like, yeah, at a certain needs, point, it gets hard. She another person. Well, at a yeah. certain point, it's hard to manage. So the thing that was sketchiest to me, I got robbed at an Airbnb. They took like twenty thousand dollars worth of gear in Nashville, and Nashville was banning Airbnbs in certain districts because people couldn't keep up, or the police couldn't keep up with all the robberies. And one of the biggest issues was just the security because these companies would buy like twenty thousand units, and then there's no security. I don't like that. We're gonna make some spritzes and go in the hot tub. Make sure it's hot. I'm sure it is. I'd be weird if it wasn't. Business as usual. <laughs> There are a lot of good things about this Airbnb, I will say. I'm convinced that this is my best spritz I've ever that made. That looks so good. It looks so like good. fresh off the Mafi Coast. It actually does. Cheers to our Big Bear adventure. Mm. The orange slice, like when you actually go all out and do the club set and everything, yeah. it makes a difference. The hot tub is not hot. It's warm, it's at 80 degrees. I checked the guest book for the Wi-Fi and it said, oh, if you want the hot tub hot, heat it a few hours before you want to go in it. Oh my gosh, it's fall. You know, you forget living in LA. Good morning. I went and got some coffee because the Airbnb was out. Honestly, that's fine. I like a little coffee run. I got an Americano. Okay, you guys, I just got back and I'm like shaking a little bit because I was driving back. You know, there's some people walking past them on the road and I see this guy in the distance and I don't know, he just looks a little, a little bit odd. And as I get closer, he literally jumps in front of the car and starts yelling at me. And he literally looks like, I don't know why he was yelling at me. I was just driving. I got the biggest adrenaline surge through me that's like still in me. It's like, oh my God. I thought he was gonna like jump on the car or something. Like I didn't, I was like, oh my God. I just sped away. I like went, cause he jumped in like in front of the car. So then I had to like swerve to the other side to get away from him. Get ready with me, hot tub edition. Yes, I am getting ready in the hot tub because I didn't get to go in it last night. I was like, I'm gonna go in this morning, but I do wanna get ready so we can go get lunch soon and charge the car. So we're gonna shoot a bunch of drone shots and stuff get all the cool footage in this like woodsy area but it's so pretty in this little yard like the trees i'll show you guys it's really cool um but oh my god i slept so good here because it gets so cold and dark and quiet it's like peak sleeping conditions little tip for you guys when you book an airbnb don't book it through airbnb just look for their direct booking website most of the like nicer ones will have like some name some branded name you can google it and then you can just book directly although this one didn't have its own direct booking website so i did have to book it on airbnb and honestly it came in handy because then i was able to contact airbnb support yesterday so i guess sometimes it's good to still book on airbnb if you're like maybe nervous it might be weird but um i didn't end up even needing to rebook it so it's fine 
So we're at Big Bear at kind of a weird time of the year because the mountain biking and I think golfing is kind of done for the year. You can't go mountain biking anymore, which we're gonna try. Like I've never tried that before, but we're like, maybe it'd be fun. So you can't do that anymore, but also there's no snow on the mountain yet. It was just like the right look for the reels I'm shooting. And it's still fun to like, just go to a little like mountain town and get like the fall vibes that we don't get in LA. But yeah, there's not like, any activities really that you can do right now because it's like just right in between those peak seasons big bear is like an interesting place if you guys have never been here i would kind of call it like lake tahoe or mammoth like a budget version because it's easier to get to it's only like two hours from la you can drive but the mountain it's not that big like if you're a real serious like skier or snowboarder you would be bored so it's actually perfect if you've never skied before and you want to go because it's cheaper and like if you've never skied or snowboarded before you're not going to go that high on the mountain anyway so it's like actually so perfect for that this is the yard how cute is the a-frame it's so cool then these trees here there's string lights at night and like a little sitting area with the fire pit it's super cool when I was in the hot tub, I went on TikTok for like five minutes to see if there was anything in the off season we can do, and there is. It looks pretty fun. So we're gonna go do it. You I'm so upset that I didn't bring it up because I feel like we would have gone the whole trip not bringing this up, but I was thinking this thing they're about to go do, I was like thinking about it because I had known of this when I was younger and I've always really wanted to do it. So I'm excited we're going. Okay, so there's a slide here and this roller coaster. So we're gonna go on it. Yeah, the roller coaster's open. The slide is open on the weekends. And I've heard it's fun. The TikTok made it look fun. It looks kind of sketch. Rickety. Getting some more video shots now. So the next two hours, the lighting is gonna be the best. So we are shooting, we're gonna launch the drone. When I caught the sun. Oh, that's so cool. Looks so good. Look at this setting right now. We're getting those fall colors too, which is cool. All right, guys, we finished shooting. I am back in the hot tub with my kombucha. I think we got some really good stuff. We basically just shot until the drone died in the red camera. Like it was actually such a cool setting. I'll probably put some in this vlog because it looked like a freaking car commercial, some of it. I was like, oh, shooting with the red camera and the lighting, the setting, it was just really cool. Anyway, I'm kind of cold, so <laughs> good again. Fun fact, if you're ever in a hot tub, the heat a lot less will escape if you have it only half open. Like I know that's kind of obvious, but I feel like a lot of people don't realize that. On Yelp, you guys do delivery. Are you still doing that by chance? I really scoured Yelp to find a good food place. This one's called 572 Social Kitchen. See how this burger is if you ever come to Big Bear? Because, oh, it's not very warm anymore. Dang it. I'm gonna heat it up. Threw it in the oven for like five minutes. Now it's all toasty. A pretty solid burger. Good morning. I'm looking at the footage. <laughs> my hair really quick i'm gonna try and make it look still blown out even though it's not doing a different technique yes i am wearing the same sweater we're shooting more of the instagram reels so i want it to look like the same day otherwise i would wear something different i've brought a bunch of outfits but i'm like i just think it would look weird if like halfway through i'm wearing something else we're gonna go to this brunch spot it's called della luna and it actually looks really cute like big bear i didn't realize until yesterday when we picked up our food that there's actually this cute main street with more like trendy cool looking food spots see how i just like barely curled it so it kind of looks like a blowout like that's the vibe these days like i kind of don't like when it's super curled but just like and this is how i did it take a piece i do use the clamp i just like twist it pretty quickly so it kind of smooths it out hold it for a little bit let it go just don't don't leave it for too long that one honestly wasn't a very good example kind of like while it's still hot shape it the place I wanted to go to is actually closed today, but I found another place that looks pretty good. We keep waiting so long to eat because we didn't like grocery shop and I normally eat breakfast like first thing when I wake up pretty much. I'm just getting, I'm getting like so hungry, it's insane. Like hangry for sure. I don't know why I do this to myself. I can't wait to grocery shop and eat right now. We 
are out of here. We're just gonna get one quick shot parking it in the driveway of the car. So we are making stops as we drive down the mountain to get cool drone shots. We just got one. It is kind of tricky. We're going to a little Halloween party on actual Halloween now that we're back in LA. 